Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in for another video. This is our top five watch list for Friday, August 9th, Lotto Friday. Thank you guys for being here and clicking on that thumbnail, clicking on that video and being here. We're going to change the way that you guys trade. If you're new to the channel, if you're struggling with trading, struggling with your strat, with the strat, new to the strat, guys, this channel and what we teach here is going to show you and teach you something you've never ever seen before. The easiest way you can trade in the market, I promise you. But the very first thing you need to do is go down below, click that subscribe button, and the important part, hit the bell. The bell is the important part. The bell gives you the notifications for when I send out these videos to you guys for free every single day. I send out main watch list, top five watch list, weekly swings, monthly swings, and 300 plus videos to help you guys learn how to trade this strategy, how to do it consistently, how to do it profitably. We show you guys how to enter trades, exit trades, how to manage your trade while you're in it, what the candlesticks num numbers mean, the different setups that we have to jump into a trade. Okay, we go through everything, broadening formations, inside bars, outside bars, you name it, we've got it on here. Um, so make sure you're going to check out those videos. I've got them set up into playlists for beginner tools, learning tools, spy, uh, gap plays, 30 and 30 plays. The list goes on and on and on. If you're on Twitter, go find me. I'm there as well, at Mr. Clark Griswold. You can contact me there, DM me there, send me tweets. I send out tweets throughout the day on different trades and a bunch of other stuff. If you have questions, you can leave them down below in the comment section. Um, and even if you want to leave a comment about, you know, if the good video is good or the video is bad or if you made profit on one of the plays, leave it down below. Let me know. I love to hear that kind of stuff. And then leave a leave a heart as well on that video if you don't mind. Actually, go down. Take two seconds. Click that heart. Thank you very much. Let's go through a couple things before we get started here. Number one, TradingView is the trading platform that I use. That's how I chart all of my trades. So if you guys have never used TradingView before and you want to try it, or you're looking for a platform to use, there's a link in the description below. You click on that link, you'll get a free 30-day subscription trial to TradingView. 30 days for free to one of their subscriptions. Okay, you get to pick it, whatever you want. And after that 30 days, if you decide to use one of those subscriptions, you get up to $30 off. So go down, click that link, give TradingView a try. The other thing I want to talk to you guys about real quick is the ads. I know they suck. Let those ads roll through. I'm asking you, I'm asking you to do that for the time that I put into this stuff for you guys to, to, to teach you guys and help you guys learn. That's how you can show appreciation and thanks. Just let those videos roll through. Let those advertisers pay for your guys' education, okay? I don't want to put this on a Discord. I don't want to charge you guys for this. I want to keep these videos free and rolling forever. So like I said, let those ads roll through. Let the advertisers pay for your education. And I thank you very much for that in advance. Let's get started on the list. First one we're going to go through is SPY. And as we go through here, guys, I'm going to tell you about a little bit about the Griswold Strat indicator that you can get on TradingView. Now, you can't get it by clicking on the indicator tab up here. Um, there it is, Griswold Strat. So you cannot get it by clicking on that indicator. You can get it by clicking in the link in the description below or on Twitter or on the Discord. So that Discord link to get into the Discord is down below there's a ton of channels on there. If you have the Griswold Gold membership or you just want to purchase it separately, there's a live trading bot in that room as well. Sends you out alerts on a bunch of different tickers for different setups. Sends them to you guys live. So as we go through, I'll talk about that indicator a little bit. So first one on the list is SPY. If SPY has a setup, it'll always be on that top five. Because it is liquid, the spread between the bid and the ask is tight, and I just love playing SPY. So, SPY, inside bar. If you're new to the channel, guys, let's talk about inside bars. When you purchase that Griswold Strat Indicator, $25 one-time fee, that's it. If I ever upgrade it, there's no extra charges. So, that Griswold Strat Indicator paints these inside bars yellow for you, so they're super easy to see. I always recommend to new traders, uh, new people to the Strat, that they should look for inside bars because I believe myself... My opinion, and I'm an expert in my opinion, that the inside bars are the easiest ones to trade. Okay, so inside bars or one bars do not break the high or the low of the previous candle. They stay within the range of that previous candle. Okay, so it's a tightening range. And when you see these yellow bars, I want you guys to think of like a spring being loaded 
and compacted and getting ready to explode. And when we get that, and you let that spring go, the, the idea is that it, it explodes to one direction or the other, either up or down. So we've got time frame continuity to the upside. So I would look for SPY to continue back up with calls at 428.60 or puts at 425.52. I talked about this in the main watch list video. Somebody asked me about uh, how many tickers do I play at the same time? How many do I watch? How do I go through them? How do I find out what triggers? Here it is, guys. Okay, all I need you guys to do is click a spot. So right here is at 428.30. So even if we go 428, you know, 23, okay? I right click and I'm gonna add an alert. Okay, spy regular, we're gonna change it to crossing up. Okay, and if you were looking for puts, you would put crossing down. We're gonna say only once. And then we're gonna click create. Okay, so now once you do that, right here, you've created this orange dotted line. You've created a, a spot to give you an alert. Okay, so we're at 428.17. It's gonna ask me to change it and save it. Yep, I'm gonna save it. So now, once SPY crosses up on this line, it'll send you an alert and you can say, I gotta switch over to SPY. It's getting ready to trigger. I better get myself ready, okay? And you can put another one down here, but that's how you would do it. And do I put these on all 20 plays that I give you guys in the main watches? Hell no, okay? I'll do it on you know the top three, the top five, whatever I've got that I think are going to move the best that's where I will put those triggers. If it triggers, I can hop over there quickly and I'm watching those five or four or three throughout the day, okay? Or at least through the first, you know, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour uh, of the day, okay? So SPY, we can take calls at 428.60, puts at 425.52, and then we've got our targets marked accordingly. And we can call this magnitude. Uh, a lot of stratters call it magnitude. We can call it pivot points. We can call it targets. We can say this is where the bears have their stop losses. We can say this is where the bulls have their stop losses. It all means the same thing for the most part in general terms. So if you ever hear those terms, magnitude, pivot points, targets, that's what we're talking about, okay? Tops and bottoms of the wicks as we move up and down, okay? And if you want to know how to manage these trades, like I said, go check out my review videos. There's a ton on SPY where I show you guys how we get in, how we manage it, and then how we get out of the trade, even if we don't hit the targets, okay? Um, we want to leave that trade with profit. And if we leave with 20% and it runs, oh well. You got 20% profit out of that trade and you should definitely be happy with 20% profit on a trade, okay? I think that's a problem with people and in the psychology of trading that too many people are you know, expecting these one, two, three, four, five hundred percent hits because that's what they see the majority of the time on Twitter. And, and that's not what we're, that's not what we're doing here. We should be looking for those, you know, if you get the 20% and it reverses, take your 20%. Okay. Always take your, always take your profit. If it reverses, take your profit. And if it runs, who cares? You made your 20% and move on 20% over a week for five days is a hundred percent. Just saying. Okay. So again, these are in no particular order, but second on the list is Walmart. I was looking for Walmart to fill the gap down below or at least trigger off of this uh, inverse hammer. We ended up getting this inside bar candle instead. So again, we can look for calls on Walmart at, what are we looking at here? $140.44 or puts at 138.52. Will we fill this target tomorrow or this, this gap tomorrow? No. Somebody else, before I started this video, left me a message saying there was a gap to fill here. Look at this thing. <laughs> There's gaps to the top too. So there's another gap up there that it has to fill. And then a gap here that it has to fill. Okay. So there are gaps all over on Walmart. Well, this thing's just kind of floating in the atmosphere in no man's land there. So we'll see what happens with Walmart on Lotto Friday. CRM is up next. So CRM guys, listen up. Double inside bars. So two straight days of consolidation. We've got two inside bars. Okay, so double spring action. Okay, loading here, loading here. Which way are we going? We have a hammer candle here. Is it going to explode to the upside? We've got time frame continuity on the day and the week to the downside, but the month and the quarter are to the upside. So 
I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you guys. We can play either side. We're coming off the top of a broadening formation as well on CRM. If I zoom out, you can see it there. Low to high to low to high. Okay? So this line will almost act as a resistance. And this bottom line will also act as, well, let's we'll call it support, I guess. And then if we break through it and hop along, that becomes the support line then um, in, in general terms. Okay, so we'll see what happens with Salesforce. The last time Salesforce had a double inside bar. Okay, they're, they're really rare, guys. And these gold bars are on there from the Strat, the Griswold Strat. So are those blue lines, the blue highlights for the, I think this one was way, way back, if I remember correctly. There it is. So the blue highlights are also from the Griswold Strat. It highlights the double inside bars in blue, okay? And it, it highlights the 3-1 setups in gold. For, and that's part of what the Griswold Strat indicator gives you, along with the candlestick numbers, time frame continuity, the IB tabs, the OB tabs. Sarah Strat Sniper's 50% rule on the day, week, and month gives you a bunch of stuff. It's all it's an all one-stop shop for Strat indicators, okay? Double inside bar, a little bit of a gap, and we ran, okay? So that was the last time we had a double inside bar on CRM. So we can look for that to trend in either direction tomorrow. It'll be interesting to see how those double inside bars play out. They don't always, sometimes they're really great. Sometimes they end up being just junk. Okay, but that's the nature of the beast. WFC, Wells Fargo also had a double inside bar. Okay, so we'll see what happens with this double inside bar on WFC. We've got calls at 46.20, puts at 45.76. Again, I'll be interested to see how this thing ends up playing out. So that is four. Number five on the list is Apple. Apple usually moves with SPY, but we have an inside bar, as you can see there on Apple. So if you look at this chart on Apple, and then you go to look at this chart on SPY, so SPY was an inside bar as well. It's very, very similar, guys. Very similar. Not quite exactly, but SPY and Apple usually run in the same pack because they are apples in that pack. So again, if we look at Apple, calls 174.90, puts 173.18, time frame continuity in our favor to the upside. So good magnitude target to the upside on Apple here to hit this 176.20, probably 20 cents. There we go, 176.20. And then the bottom side, we are looking at 172. Let me turn this magnet on. There we go. 172.64 for the bottom side. And we'll give you one bonus play here. BAC, that's Bank of America. Two down, finish green. We've got nice time frame continuity. We've kind of, you know, we've trended up and then we've just kind of consolidated here in this range, in this little box here after this trend up. And we can even say this little box here. So, I'm going to look for a break to the upside with Bank of America tomorrow. Calls at 36.40. First target, 36.59. Next target at 36.94. Guys, if you like the video, make sure you give me a heart down below. Comment down below. There's more videos at the end. There's watch lists and then the next video up. Um, follow me on Twitter. Subscribe down below. Click that bell. Make sure you're in that Discord. Join us. Um, and that's it, guys. Good luck on Lotto Friday. Again. Thank you for subscribing. We're at 1,700. I never thought I'd ever be at 1,700 subscribers on YouTube. So thank you guys very much for that. It's very much appreciated. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Even if, whoa, what happened? Even if you don't believe me, um, I, I honestly, I truly do appreciate you guys. And I enjoy the banter and the talk back and forth on the Discord as well. So make sure when you guys are on there, you're engaging. Um, let us know about trades you see. That's what the Discord's there for, for us to discuss that kind of stuff. Okay, don't worry if you're wrong. Everybody's wrong. No one's ever 100% right. Um, and that's what it is. So good luck trading Lotto Friday, guys. Manage your risk, manage your trades, and we will see you guys all in the next one. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye.